Kyle Petty. It doesn't feel like anything else I've ever driven. I mean, this thing does not want to go in a straight line. That's not what it does. The car only wants to turn left. It doesn't want to go straight. Lift the grass. You got to run through the grass. It's like mowing the yard. You got to hit the grass. Hard. Oh! <laughs> Smash. All the way down. All the way down. I am so scared. Get more. More gas. Oh my God. More gas. More gas. More gas. More oh, gas. Dear Lord. More gas. Get over next to the wall a little bit. Close. I am next to the wall. Eventually, Carl let me go out on my own. Trying not to fight it too much. Not just a big loop. It's complex. It's three dimensional. And I'm wrestling my way around it in a huge shouty dragon. Right, I'm going to roll out of this corner onto the straight now. Here I go, getting on the gas. <laughs> Just to add to my problems. Oh, now that's not what I wanted to see in the mirror. That's too authentic. One fan, I'm braced and ready for your comments. Go. I agree with you. Eh? I do agree with you. The Americans are very bad at some things. They can't say aluminium. <laughs> and they can't win a war without our help. But <laughs> they are very good at making dreary sports very exciting to watch. Let's just take, for an example, Rounders, right? That's played by small children here. <laughs> Over there, it's Babe Ruth and a religion, and then you've got netball, which here is just a lot of schoolgirls standing so you can only move one foot, and there's four parents watching, and over there, it's the... What is it? Harlem Globetrotters. They are quite easily amused. The they're Americans, unbelievably it? easily amused, and that's why they're able to make NASCAR exciting. It's just some good old boys going round in a circle, and they go, oh, hell, I'll go pay watch that. 250,000 people turn up to watch because it. Because it is a good sport.